How's it going guys? Today I want to talk about, in my opinion, what makes Skyrim so goddamn engaging. <clears throat> now, Skyrim is obviously a game that is just immensely, immensely popular. And it has been, like, since fucking 2011 when it came out. And even now, it's 20, it's almost 2024. By the time this video comes out, it might be already be 2024. But it's, it's, what, 13 years after the fact, and this game is still booming on. And yeah, some of it is because Bethesda is slow at making the new game. Yeah, some of it is because of the aggressive reselling of the game. But at the end of the day, people wouldn't be playing it and people wouldn't be making videos on it and watching videos on it if there wasn't something about it that is just so, like, magically engaging about Skyrim. And today, I want to give my opinions and just have an open discussion with you about what I think it is. Um, feel absolutely free to give me your take in the comments. Or if you think I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments, I guess. I read every comment. Even if I don't reply to it, trust me, I do read every comment. So, you're not wasting your time. <coughs> Anyways, so I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but... What I think immediately, immediately makes Skyrim click to someone who never played it before is the sense of like um, emotional engagement you get from it right off the rip. I think to make a good game, you you have to have some kind of you know emotion with it, some kind of like NPC or some kind of thing that you relate to. And I think that's why Starfield did so bad because it's like nothing matters. There's nobody to relate to. There's no like sense of meaning in my opinion. But in Skyrim, as soon as you wake up, you're literally immediately about to die. You know, the Imperials have captured you unjustly, and you immediately have this sense of brotherhood with Raylof and all the other Stormcloaks, because you're all being sent to death, you know, over the Imperials. So, not only are you immediately gained, you're already invested in it, because you already have an enemy, which is the Imperials and the Dragon. So you have two enemies, and you have um, kind of an ally, which is Raylof and Ulfric Stormcloak. And you have some kind of emotional investment too, because of course Raylof is chill as fuck and he helps you escape, of course. So you have some kind of sense of direction. You have two senses of direction immediately. The Civil War, which you kind of already have a side on. And you also have the, um, the Dragon Crisis. So immediately you have two things two senses of direction with an immediate call to action, right? I think that's what makes Skyrim to a new player so engaging, is you already have all this shit going on, and you, you immediately have a sense of the current politics and a sense of, you know, what's to come. Whereas a game where that doesn't happen, you kind of just have to, like, learn as you go and, you know, kind of stumble into something random that has meaning. Skyrim is not afraid to put you on a specific path and allow you to go on it yourself, but it forces you onto the path, which isn't such a bad thing, actually. And even if you don't, you, like, I think what makes Skyrim engaging to people like me is even though it forces you to be on the path of being dragonborn or whatever, or participating in the Civil War, you can actually just ignore it. You could ignore anything. Um, and I think the fact that Skyrim is sort of like a choose your own adventure type game, not only is it like choose your own adventure, but it also creates your own adventure. I think that makes it so engaging because you can go any direction you want. And that's expressly said by Raylof or Hadvar when you leave Helgen. It's like, it's, it's expressly said, I think it's best if we split up now. You know, that's what they say. So it kind of encourages you, like you can follow them, you can go to Riverwood, or you can go do whatever the fuck you want. And I think that's just such a great thing. Um, especially also the fact that I think I think Skyrim has an incredibly rewarding gameplay um, cycle too. You know, based, you know, if you want to water it down as much as you can, the bare bones of what Skyrim is is get quest, go to location, complete location, sell all of your goods, complete quest, get a reward. That's basically the bare bones of it. And it's incredibly fun because it's got different factions, different forms of different like things to understand, different politics, right? With the companions, you have the Silverblood who is like your main enemy. With the Cottage of Winterhold, it introduces you to the Mages Guild in Cyrodiil um, partway through the Synod, I think they're called. It introduces you to the Old Mary Dominion and um, also the Cottage itself, that's also a faction. Also introduces you to the, um, what are they called, the guys who, the Sigic Order, that, that, those guys. It introduces you to a lot of different factions, so there's a lot of different things, like a lot of different people to keep up with, that it, it doesn't feel like just go to a place, kill bad guy, you know, it's a bit more gray than that. Obviously there is like, 
generic bad guys like bandits or like Drago or like Skeleton. There is generic bad guys. But the fact that it's kind of gray and the fact that you can pick whatever side you want to be on, I think also makes it more engaging. Right? You can be an assassin, you can be a thief, a warrior, you can be a military general, or you can just be the fucking dragonborn if that's what you choose. Or you can be a vampire or a vampire hunter. I think it's it's almost a shame that that wasn't that um that freedom of choice wasn't further developed because like um you know how the Dawn Guard they have you can be a vampire or you can be a, you know the Dawn Guard. I think if they had that kind of system with everything, um, it would have been a bit more better. You know, if there's um like if you could have if you could join the Silver Hand, um, because you know, I think just the fact that you can only view the companion's quest line through that lens is a bit limited. Whereas every other quest line, you have choices for what, you know, path to go down. Like the Civil War. The Civil War is like the greatest example. You can literally choose which faction to be in um, in either way. It's pretty much the same thing, I guess, but just different color people. Um, the Thieves Guild also, I feel like, would have been a bit better if you could join the, um, the Somerset Shadows, I think they're called. Somerset Shadows is a faction of, like, High Elf Thieves, I think. Yeah, I think they were just like a one-off thing, but if they were explored a bit more, then that would have been pretty cool. But I think what makes Skyrim, at the bottom line, what makes Skyrim so engaging is just the fact that you can literally do anything. You can pick any side, and whatever side you do pick, you can go all the way to the end with it, and you can work your way up and, you know, really immerse yourself with that. I think the way, like, the, the way that you can create your identity in Skyrim is so, like, powerful. To the point that even tiny things, like if you develop a skill, like one-handed, really high, you no know, guards will comment on that. They'll be like, oh, you like one-handed weapons, like me, you know, they'll be like that. Or if uh, they, if you level up two-handed really high, they'll say, yeah, God gave you two hands for your weapon, better use them both, right? So just the small things like that, like you really get to craft, like this alternate reality for yourself in Skyrim. And I think that just makes it so great, so engaging, and super, super fun. Especially, not to be depressing, but especially in a reality, in real life, when you kind of can't really do that as freely, uh, which is a little bit depressing. <laughs> You're kind of given your hand and you have to kind of play it, you know? Uh, Skyrim's a bit fresh from that. But anyways, that is pretty much all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, consider becoming a channel member, or if you just want to support me in other ways, just leave a like or leave a comment down below. And again, let me know what you think. Because I do read every comment. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you want to. But if you don't, that's fine. Stay awesome as always. And peace out.